Reefers, I'm Daniel from Coral Lesson. Today is Mistake Monday, and I just wanted to ask you guys and kind of go over a few things about live rock with you. Because a lot of people, when they start out a reef tank, they hear about how many watts per gallon they need and how many pounds of live rock they need for their tank. Because a lot of people believe that they need their live rock for mechanical filtration to make their reef tank a success. And I want to tell you that that's not really the case, it's just a guideline. When I first started off uh, reef keeping, I went out and I bought this tank and I filled it up with as much live rock as I could afford and I piled it all up against the back and I started out my tank that way thinking I was going to just, just make this tank amazing because I had more live rock. But the live rock displaces water volume so you're going to have less water, um, less water movement because depending on how you stack that rock you've got to use more power to move the water around those um, rock sculptures no matter how you do it. So there's a lot more planning and thought involved in reef keeping than just how many watts per gallon and how many pounds of live rock for your tank. Now if you have a sump and you can have a refugium and you can even put in a marine pure block in your sump or even if you want to put some live rock in the bottom, um, that's great for you. But you don't have to tie yourself down to the thought that you need you know, so many pounds of rock in your tank. You're better off sculpting your tank and doing it right and even getting plaster um, ornaments. Another thing I have a problem with live rock and I go, hey, why would you want to put this in your tank? Because I've got more hitchhikers on live rock than anything else. So live rock has always been a problem for me and you're better off if you're going to use rock from the ocean to dry it out first for several weeks anyway. Maybe even put some bleach in the bucket. Kill off anything that's going to be in there. That way when you introduce macroalgae to your tank you know you're getting the right kind. Otherwise you can get a nuisance algaes and your tank can look terrible. So you really got to pay attention to what you add to your tank and live rock is the number one way to add things that you have no idea what is in there. So it's really cool, we all love live rock and it just sounds cool, especially when you're starting out a reef aquarium, but it's something to think about. Do you really want to add something to your tank that you have no idea? Any of those of you who have seen my bottle worm video, it is crazy. We got this six foot, it's over six foot long bottle worm out of a piece of live rock that was probably the size of a baseball. We have no idea where it came from and that's the only way it could have gotten in the tank. So those of you with smaller tanks, I would definitely stay away from it. Those of you with larger tanks, I would probably still stay away from it. So leave your questions or comments below. As always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. I'd love to hear your feedback and your experience using Live Rock. And until next time. Oh, you guys are so good. I'll get some little treats.